Parental discretion is advised. This show is brought to you by IndieWrestling.us. Check out IWC, RWA, and more. And listeners like you, support this show at Patreon.com slash Wrestling Mayhem Show. Just wait, just wait, just wait, just wait, just wait. It is the Monday Mayhem Wrap-Up. I am Mike Sorg at Sorgatron on Twitter here in Pittsburgh, PA, where all good wrestling comes. Uh, It is time to catch up with everything that's going on in the Monday wrestling scene. Our our first thoughts, our first feelings and vibes after finishing the, the Monday night tradition, the habits of watching whatever it is on USA Network. With me from Beacon, New York, is the only Mayhemmer with a future Endeavor letter from the WWE. It is Mad Mike. Sorg, I'm pregnant. Oh, no! Well, it better not be mine. That explains this constant gut I've had for 10 years on this show. Oh, it's just gestation. I get it now. (laughs) Wow. This will be a soccer player. It's going to be a soccer player. Oh, that's the kind of night that we had. Before we get into Monday night and whether we liked it or not, um, uh, 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 Mike, I know uh, I, I know, I kind of uh, barred you from talking about that one thing, but you, if you can tell me just the one thing, you, if that is the thing you like from this weekend uh, um, uh, in wrestling, like what was, what was the positive yes thing from wrestling this weekend? Oh, tag team wrestling. Tag team wrestling? Tag team back again. Trick of the Rick and let's begin. Everybody <laughs> in the house. Come jump for joy. Say bye over here. Bye over there. Well, yeah, yeah. Chicken area. Yeah. yeah. I think Tag we, team. I think we some have some people in the in in the in the chat room that are appreciating that. Mm-hmm. Also, I think that might have popped up in the Shaft movie I watched last night. Good movie. Good movie. Wait, which movie? The new Shaft movie. Oh, Shaft. Okay, yeah. I saw a Toy Story over the weekend. I oh, I saw a Toy Story, and I got tickets uh, for 10 a.m. Uh, Spider Man tomorrow. Oh, you fucker. It's nice when you make your own hours and are yeah, kind fuck, of caught yeah. up on work. At yeah, least enough that I can say, you. hey, we'll just start at one. Sorg, you are not. I'm I'm putting a ban on all spider related conversations <laughs> until this time next week. Well, that's fine because my wife puts pans on all spiders in my house, so. That's fine. That's right. But, but anyways, but, what in wrestling? What is it about tag team wrestling that's got you interested right now? Um, uh, well, guys, I'm not sure if you know this. Mm-hmm. Christopher Daniels is really good at wrestling, and so what? are his two friends. What? So are his two friends. Yeah. SCU. SCU. Yeah. Even though you know, it's funny they they always manage to perform even though they're they don't like the towns they're in. No, they don't. Yeah. Oh. They're not fans of them. <clears throat> Side note, uh, not tag team wrestling related, but uh, there was a good bit on, I think it was on Being the Elite, uh, with Christopher Daniels and uh, Britt Baker um, um, and somebody else, I won't spoil it, uh, over there, that I think they filmed at some local pro- wrestling promotion in the area. Uh, so uh, go check that out. Uh, friend of the show, Britt Baker uh, and Christopher Daniels. Yeah, also friend of the show, technically, Christopher Daniels. We did interview him at uh, King of Trios some yep. 10 years ago. <laughs> yeah, just a wow, little bit. Wow, that's though. weird to say. It, it was 10 years ago. Well, I mean, Christopher Daniels, I'm pretty sure he had a match with George Hackman. I'm sure. I'm sure he's been at it for a good while. Yeah. Anyways, um so so just you're just down with the SCU? Um I, I'll get I'll get overall the show was not as good as Double or Nothing. I wouldn't expect it for what it was. Yeah, yeah. There were still positives. Okay, but but tag team wrestling was definitely it. Yo, yeah, but by by and large, yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, as far as what you liked in wrestling this week, uh, Brandon in the KC is uh in the chat. He's saying he likes what Impact is doing with Sammy uh, Callahan and Tessa Blanchard. Uh, I've heard I've heard about this. I've seen some of the pro like some of the gifts and promos online uh, that, uh, through Impact Wrestling. I keep up with Impact Wrestling just through the Friday night and social media. They're really good about that. Um, I I wouldn't know. You're they blocked. blocked me. I, <laughs> Josh Matthews, I know you listen. Can you please unblock uh, Mr. Mad Mike he's, he's 483 from the Twitter? Please, please. He, I, I will not go back to them until they unblock me, Sork. Okay. All right. We'll see what we can do. 
we can see we'll see what we can do um anyways <laughs> i got i know some people so <laughs> we'll, we'll we'll see what we can do for you um so so i had a, a fun indie wrestling weekend this weekend uh, so both these promotions technically are things that have started i think they've uh, both officially started in the fall and okay. i got to film and edit two shows a friday and saturday show this weekend um both an hour away from town in opposite direction so i did a lot of driving this weekend um making the towns brother uh but uh <laughs> first of all our friends at rise Hope you brought your gear <laughs> yeah yeah oh i always bring dude you i always, always bring my always gear bring, always, always bring my gear, gear in case they need me um to film um the the reset button sorry the reset button what, what, what's what's that button what's that what the, the the randomizer button that can yeah that was the reset button yeah the reset yeah. button okay i thought so yeah, uh, neither of these promotions is that. Uh, but uh, our friends at Uprise, a lot of really good stuff. MV Young, I, I who's been making a lot of noise. Um, and I know I saw early on a VOW KSWA days when he was here in Pittsburgh. Uh, but he came back in town and had a great match with our friend Brohemoth. Um, there was a, it was like the most solid, like Uprise is kind of the NXT for the Rise promotion, Rise with a Y, not with an I, who also, I okay. understand, had a really important show this weekend. I know our friend Joe Dabrowski was talking about it a little bit. Um but uh, uh, also, that's really great th- that that uh, you know shows like that are happening. I, I've only caught little bits and pieces from it, but uh, we, with the fifty shows that are happening this weekend, Mad Mike. Um, mm-hmm. But <laughs> anyways, but but it, it, we uh, uh, it, it was a really fun show there, and then we went up first time ever. I this is the fourth show I believe for Prospect Pro Wrestling, run by friend of the show Marshall Gambino. And uh, it was th- it was a good solid ten matches. First time seeing in person uh, some of the new trainees from uh, the Iron City Wrestling Academy, which you know Chris Larus- LaRusso students. Uh, all of them are just solid as hell, dude. Uh, I-, I can't believe how how great those guys are just out of the gate um, in their first couple of matches here. You know, we-, we we talked last year about guys like Johnny Patch with like DJ Z and stuff like that, right? I remember. Uh, right. Yeah, that's right. Uh, having great matches for their first match, but uh, a, re- a lot of really fun stuff. Like there's like three or four out of ten were match of the night candidates. Johnny Patch and Katie Arquette had a great intergender match. That's actually free right now on the Indie Wrestling US. Uh, YouTube and Facebook if you want to watch that. Um, th- we had a last man standing match that got crazy uh, with Bronco McBride and Jamie Jamison, as you would expect from those guys if you're familiar with them. Uh, uh, Dennis Gregory is a veteran in the area. I think you remember. And he's a bum. I understand he's, he's a, a bum. Dirty, yes. He's yes. a dirty, dirty bum. He might have yelled at me at ringside but um, uh, t- <laughs> this time. But uh, Stuart, I, did you throw a change at him? No, you I was in the way. Him. Actually, no, there was change, but that involved the, uh, the police officer versus fireman match, which happened. Okay. Yeah, that happened. Um, was was the construction worker the Indian chief, and the... there was no Indian chief, but there was an Indian, uh, one of the one of the newbies, uh, Isaiah Wolf, who again looked re- really good out there. Um, Sorg, yeah. I I think you know what you have to suggest. No. Oh no, I, oh, they have put the... but there is a team where it's the cop, a detective, and a lawyer mm-hmm. already. A lot of characters. Do they call themselves SVU? No, 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 SVU. <laughs> no, but they do come out to the uh, Law and Order theme a little bit. Of course they um, do. <laughs> no, it's Lawless Officer Dan. And now this is the worst crime I've ever seen. Uh, but anyways, great match between Danny Gregory and and, and John Roden. But the piece de resistance, and I'm using the wrong language again because it's like no, no, no. You you got it on. That, that's correct. Baguette on the pole match. Of course. Chess flexor Mambo uh, Italiano. This is the next step from the pasta death match, which is Sork. also free on indie wrestling.us social media for you to watch. Sorg. How would you imagine a baguette on a pole match went? Sorg, you know what I'm gonna say. What? No, I don't. It must have been a breadwinner. Oh okay. All right. Yeah. Um, it was it was it was a few good moments. You couldn't make any pin until somebody had um, taken the 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 baguette from the pole. Sorg, Sorg, did the winner take home a lot of dough? Uh, <laughs> no, no, that was that was in the main event. When listen, <laughs> I've never seen a five. So it wasn't the grain event, Sorg? Damn it! Oh, so good. Um, <laughs> I can do so, this all night. So Mambo, <laughs> I will never get sour, though. I have some gifts. <laughs> Damn it! 
<laughs> Damn it, man, Mike. <laughs> oh, Sorg, what are you going to do with me? Mm-hmm. That, that, that wasn't as good. I'll I'll mm-hmm. I'll end it there. Mm-hmm. I'll end oh, it there. thank you, thank you, spare us all. Um, anyways, it was good. It ended with um, um, a roll up. <laughs> Boom! Boom! I can't even. I can't follow up. No, uh, Chess got hit in the head with the baguette. I would have thought he got hit in the bread basket. Mm. Well, actually, actually, time every time there was a nut shot, uh, people would start chanting "wrong baguette." Oh, it's the way they were chanting right in the croutons. Mm-hmm. Well, yeah, they should have, right? <laughs> they really should have. Uh, so, Brandon, so, Brandon's so, getting so. it. He said, "Did it rise to the fullest?" That's an excellent question. Is that is that rise with an I or a Y? And yeah, that's the <laughs> other question too. We don't know. Thank you. Stay on so, brand. So, Sorg. Are they one and one now? They are one on one. Uh, they Sword, are one and one. So, 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 so I, I didn't. I didn't tell you how it ended. Hold on a second. Pen wait, a rubber wait. match. No. Hold on. Hold, uh, pen a rubber match. Hold on. Let me tell you what happened. Let me tell you what happened because it's, okay. it, it's already spelled out. So, uh, so he hits him with the baguette next, which knocks chest flexor out cold, as it should. Yes. Uh, to as reveal, there was a pipe in the baguette. Hmm. Okay. Okay. So we're going to have at the next show on July 20th in Worthington, Pennsylvania, at the Worthington Civic, Civic Center, the um, it's Pasta Deathmatch 2. Don't say it. Fans bring the pasta weapons. <laughs> sword, sword, sword. Do we know anyone going to that show? I think I am. Well, there's a ride show sword. the same night. If I am not, one of Sword. us is. Sword, what you need to do, and this, you have to do this now. You need to get two plastic bins. Buy as much cheap pasta as you can. Sword, I will pay for all of this. Okay, okay. This will come out of the Mad Mike budget. Yep, yeah. You're, you're going to skip T- from the Lego T- budget. T- Take it off of my salary. Okay, I will. Okay, yes. I will. Yes, exactly. Uh, crush all of the pasta up. Mm-hmm. Get them some double-sided tape. <laughs> You've and been you pushing just... for this. Sorg, it is brilliant. Listen. And it is the true way... You know what? Fuck Can it. You... I'm, just go- I'm just going to start messaging Chess Flexor myself. Yeah, no, no, seriously, do it. Seriously, tweet it, Chess Flexor. You know what? Oh! <gasps> He should pull it out like the bag of thumbtacks. Yes. Um, tag Marshall. Gale. Spiral pasta. Spiral pasta. He di- he dips his hand in sauce. Mm-hmm. He puts his hand because you, you don't want to do tape now. I no, get no, it. No, no, you no, no. Do tape. You do sauce. You dip your hand in the sauce. Oh, you geez. dip that sauced hand into the bag and you pull out the rigatoni fist. That's it. This whole conversation is making me hungry. Yeah, I know. Yeah. I know, Sword. Yeah, yeah. Hmm. hmm. Anyway, so that's what's happening in Worthington, PA. You can see Prospect Pro Wrestling and Uprise. Latest episodes are all up on IndieWrestling.network with your subscription or free trial. Uh, so, but but that was that was my fun for the weekend. Uh, so tonight, I understand there was Monday Night Raw. I understand we're under a new regime. I understand there were some oh, technical. Oh, you can tell. You can tell, Matt, uh, yeah. Mike. What were your initial impressions? Impressions? Imp- impressions? Where's my coffee at? I left it over there. Of tonight's Monday Night Raw. Uh, Corey is slowly morphing into Joey Styles, <laughs> and I okay. am here for it. Okay, all right. I am A little here bit. For it. Uh-huh. He said, "Holy shit!" Did he? He said, "Holy shit." Was that during that that first? Um, yes, segment? it was. So during... I watched. Okay, here's a confession. I watched the first segment on the down low while I was at a board meeting. Um, ah, okay. So I'm just like, oh my god, what is happening? <laughs> so also yeah. didn't start with 15 minutes of talking. It's a wonder what happens when you don't do that. Mm-hmm. In fact, there were almost no segments of talking in the ring. No, there really weren't. Think about it. There were not. The ring is for fighting, not for talking. 
Yes. Mm-hmm. Weird how that happens sometimes. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And I like that when Paul Heyman came out, he didn't say anything to the degree that this was his show now. Which is strange because the advertisements, I guess, like selling tickets, have <laughs> them on the advertisements. Uh, 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 this is, if you didn't catch the news, um, it was announced that Paul Heyman and um, Eric Bischoff were announced as executive directors of each Raw for Heyman and SmackDown for Bischoff. Mm-hmm. So they are like, is that... I take it the top creative person. We're not exactly sure. I don't think they, 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 the, the, the wording is they're in charge of the creative direction and synchronizing that across all the, the channels or something. It kind of seems like they're the last line before it goes to the big man. Okay. So they're like, they're, they're the, they're the right hand man to Vince for that show. That's what and it's And not across like, yeah. both shows for each individual show. This isn't a this is a, this is a GM role or anything. Mm-hmm. Likely we think we d- won't see them on screen except obviously Paul Heyman is going to be I... No. We'll, we'll see what happens when a certain show goes to Fox. Okay, okay. All right. All right. So, so this is interesting and I think it's going to have a lot of other conversation that we'll have tomorrow night on Wrestling Mayhem show. Um, with our guests uh, Zeke Mercer and uh, I'll tell you at the end who 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 else is. I haven't announced who else is going to be on the show tomorrow. Uh, Ooh, I, 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 yes, Ooh. yes. Um, all the hugs. Or it's me. You don't have you. to, te- ladies and gentlemen. It's me. It's me. <laughs> there you go. There you go. Uh, the most huggable you. mayhem are on the show. Um, but anyway, <laughs> so so I mean, you're liking the vibe tonight. There was a lot of action. I mean, Sorg. What have I asked for 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 Raw? For, uh, for storytelling, now. people getting yep. chances, storytelling yep. most of all, mm-hmm. just the ri- um, writing, they, as he says. Basically, basically, even for the last couple weeks, I've just wanted them to try. <laughs> <laughs> try to entertain me. Right. And tonight, mm-hmm. they tried. Mm-hmm. Like you can tell, mm-hmm. there's a, there's a marked difference in the show. Yeah. Not all of it hit. <laughs> no, but none of it's going to, especially three hours yeah. of content, right? Exactly. It's not. It's it's never going to all hit. Mm-hmm. But Sorg, all right, I'm going to say this. It's probably going to be better than what we get, but I have to say it because it came into my brain, and you know how that works with me. Mm-hmm. Um. So, the story with Drake Maverick. Is that he has not consummated his marriage yet. (laughs) Sorg, what I propose to you is we will see the love nest of Mr. and Mrs. Maverick. Mm -hmm. And when she is about to initiate consummation, she's going to climb on top of Drake Maverick. And a referee is going to crawl out from under the bed. And she's going to become the 24-7 champion. Yes. <laughs> yes. Mm. Uh-huh. Mm. Yes. Granted, I don't think that's going to happen. But if it were me, that would be what would happen. If it was like 2002, it was. it's almost definitely going to happen. Well, I mean, Sorg, a certain person is running the show now. That is true. And we did get kind of a little more racy with some of the content. Tonight. Uh, Yeah, Mike Canellis is basically a cuck. Whoa. <laughs> Are we allowed to say that word on here? I just did. Are we allowed to say the C word on this show? I, um, I, I literally, Sorg, we've said fuck before. <laughs> Yes, but we don't say it's the same. It's the same word, but with a C in front of it. I don't want to double check the meaning of that word because I don't know. If no, that no, means... no, it's accurate. I don't know if that means what I think well, it means. Anyways, maybe you don't know. Uh, we Maria, to... Maria's saying. Oh, that yeah, that else... is accurate. Okay. Yeah, Maria's saying someone yeah. else got her pregnant. Yeah. Which I assume my canals would watch, because I mean, you know, what else are you gonna do? <laughs> that is true. Um, I also, I, I think it's worth noting that uh, I presume both of them, but I know Mike Bennett, uh, there was a story that he has just signed for two more years. Mm-hmm. And Maria did 
actually looked pregnant. Like if you if you look closely at her outfit, mm-hmm. she usually shows a lot more flesh. She hasn't been lately. No, and I think that's the reason. Okay. All right. Because she she definitely like she like there was one part where she looked like she was showing a little bit. Mm-hmm. So this is probably the way to get her off TV because she has been intricate in all of Mike Canellis' backstage segment segments and matches on two oh five. So they're gonna have her like, like hopefully, they're gonna have her go away for a little. Ho- hopefully he does something. I mean, you hey, know. you know what? Jilted lover mm-hmm. that could that could be an awesome storyline. Mm-hmm. Hell, it's working for Drake Maverick. There you go. There you go. They could be. They could even turn into a tag team. Um, they did, uh, however, break some of your rules tonight. Okay. By uh, uh, letting some people over forty do things. Um. Yeah. Like you know, give a promo, walk to the ring. Yeah. I, and, and walk he did. Mm-hmm. Oh boy. Oh boy. I had that on fast forward. And that still took a while. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You're just like, is this thing working right? Well, to be fair, I don't blame him. Mm-hmm. I don't. I don't blame the Undertaker. Mm-mm. He's going to send people to hell. There's not much you can do about it. Mm -mm. And, you know, sometimes hell is raw. (laughs) Uh, Sometimes. You know, there is no, like, worst place now, is there? There's no, like, well, at least you're not in TNA. You know, or at least you're not in this. Raw is the worst place. It is. It is. It's It's like the best. It's like... The best paying worst. Oh no! Place. Actually, no. There is no, a worst place. Sorry. No, it's it's the best play, paying worst <laughs> place you can be. No, I would not do that with Ring of Honor. I I still I I know you don't. Ring of Honor is still in an mm. okay place. Any, any company that pushes Velvet Sky in 2019. Well, there's that. Uh, yeah. 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 They yeah. they're making some missteps for 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 sure. Mm-hmm. So, um. Uh, Brandon saying Truth is going to show up during the honeymoon. I, I will only accept that if Truth is disguised as the bartender. Is the twenty four seven thing one of the most entertaining things on main WWE right now? It's entertaining. Yes. yes. I don't know if it helps anyone involved in the long run. <laughs> the only, no, seriously, the only person this has been benefiting is our Truth, who didn't need the help. Mm-hmm. But it and gives, Drake, him, some, and Drake but it gives him something to do. It, it's no, no. It, it give, yeah, no. I'm good with that. But mm-hmm. Truth doesn't need that to get over. No, that's the thing. He never needed that to get over. Well, would you rather him just do be doing random matches and being our Truth then? Kinda. Mm-hmm. If, if someone else could be the constant twenty four seven champion, mm-hmm. our Truth doesn't need to be our Crash Holly. Mm-hmm. If anything, Drake Maverick should be our Crash Holly. Okay. Okay. Like, yeah. And maybe we're leading to it. We'll we'll see what happens. How this develops. Because oh, I'm a... I'm very curious to see what the honeymoon is going to bring. <laughs> I'm very because you know they're going to do something. And you know she is. Um, at she least, was a worker. Yeah. Yeah, she's at least a performance center girl. I think. Um, she was. She I don't was. Think she is. I don't think she is anymore. But not officially, but they've obviously brought her in for for this. So. Yeah. Well. Yeah. Obviously. So. Um. Anyways, uh, and now we have two Renees on the show. Well, that's gonna get confusing, isn't it? Mm, only if you have to write about it. it seems... <laughs> yeah. I don't know who does that. But... I don't know. I don't know. Somebody out there, I'm sure, somewhere right. deep, deep in the bowels of WWE Titan Towers, will have mm-hmm. to deal with that. I guess. Absolutely. I guess. Right. Um. But yeah. Hey, uh, Sorg. AJ Styles turned heel. Yes. What did I say? I told you they're yeah. gonna go all club. Good. I'm okay with that. Mm-hmm. That's fine. Someone, someone figured out how to use their toys properly. That's right. All right. Were you excited about uh, it, it, you know four uh, former New Japan guys uh, uh, ripping it up in the main event tonight? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I mean, yeah, you know what? If you're gonna have the first show of your regime, regime, and you you have the main event be Ricochet versus AJ Styles. It's not a bad place to start. Not a bad place because I think I think although Rick- they're running out of ideas for I'm- how to not have set matches during commercials. Uh, you're okay. Okay, they're uh, running out. I, I so so tonight we had the two, the the staple two out of three falls match, right? 
uh, between the, the st- yeah 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 the, the becoming the staple two out of three falls between Elias and the Miz. We had a tag match that got interrupted with the the Viking Experience Raiders and um <laughs> and uh, in who, the new day in the new day. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. No rev- no revival tonight. Okay, no rains tonight either. So I'm, I'm presuming there's some tour thing going on still. Well, no, I think I think they actually had the other house show. Oh, okay, okay. Which, um, me- which means the Poughkeepsie one is probably still on, but I'm probably not going to go to it. Man, I because there's experiment. They're promising Becky Lynch, Kofi Kingston, and Roman Reigns, and I know we're not getting all three of those. Okay, okay. I know, I, and so just and, because and, you're not, and, and so if, not just because you're not getting the holy trinity of uh, of, of SmackDown. Sword, if I go to that show and Becky Lynch is not going to be there, I'm going to be sleeping on the couch. I don't want that. I just got the fiance a brand new Becky two belt shirt. Yeah, yeah. You don't want to Drake Maverick this thing. No, absolutely not. Mm-hmm. Well, speaking of which, now I have uh, some ideas for your wedding. <laughs> oh boy anyways oh, uh oh, there's yeah. gonna be a pasta station sorry you'll be fine what's that there's gonna be a pasta station a pasta station taipei 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 penny. penny um yeah generally good good raw tonight fun raw tonight a lot of stuff happened yeah, it, fun it was action. different it was different and thank god we need a different mm-hmm. like i'm okay with that like could I have done with a little less Shane McMahon? Of course, but I could always do with a little less Shane McMahon. I have two issues, and or at least question marks, coming out tonight. Okay. Um, mm-hmm. I tweeted about one of them. Okay. Uh, the two out of three falls situation, which uh, we understand from if you read the internet, uh, is a is a a a uh, result of a mandate. A, a mandate from the big man um, Vince himself that we do not wrestle through commercials anymore. That mm-hmm. is the answer to not wrestling through commercials. My issue is it is an answer. It is not the, it answer. is an answer, but <laughs> I feel like if that was going to re- become the answer, if you, I obviously, you know, it, it, it's defeating the purpose of the two for two out of three falls where we have like two or three a week. Mm-hmm. And, uh, and and especially tonight, where there's so many quick falls, and it just you know they're like, oh hey, for, they they announced first two falls until we go to the commercial, like all right, and then a minute later we had the first two falls. Um, so so I would be cool with this idea if it was under the guise of them saying, hey, this is a comedi- uh, competitive initiative to get more, um, um, you know results like definite results out of our matches honestly honestly they could even and this is weird this is a weird idea Mm -hmm. they could have someone come out like 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 the like the old vince mcmahon segment where he's like uh we're gonna have a new attitude you know for a new generation stuff like that you could have someone come out and say listen wwe has been entertaining you for years but you have to remember this is sports entertainment and we're trying to put the sport back in sports entertainment. I don't think they'll so, ever, I don't think Vince McMahon himself. Hold, hold will on, ever hold do on. That. I know. I know they won't. But, yeah. So what they're going to institute in matches and it will put a sense of urgency in those matches. The referee calls for a TV timeout. Ooh. Oh. A TV timeout. Huh. The referee knows when the t- when the TV timeouts are. The competitors do not. Mm-hmm. So it adds a sense of urgency to every match. Because if you're on the offensive, you want to finish your opponent off as quick as possible before the TV timeout. And he's allowed to get catch his wind. Yeah. Thoughts? I like it. I like it. I okay. think it'd be fascinating to at least experiment with it for a week. Yeah. Yeah. Like, right. granted, it kills the live crowd. Mm-hmm. It kills the live crowd. And that's unfortunate. And, and I'm curious. You don't know what's happening in between. I, I'm sure in most of these cases, somebody's grabbing a mic and, and tearing it into the crowd or something, right? Oh, they are. Yeah. It has to be. 
We yeah, can't. No, they, s- sometimes they'll even show that on dot com too. Good, good. Um, item two. Becky Lynch winning that match was bullshit. Why? What kind of match was it? It was mixed tag. Mixed tag. Guys but Sorg, guys, Sorg, women against the women. Sorg, Maria's pregnant. <laughs> it no, was I'm, still I'm illegal curious. for her putting the move on the guy was hey, illegal Sorg. by the Sorg. bounds well, of I the rules. What I saw in that ring was man versus man. And technically... Sorg, I saw man versus man. That's what I saw. Damn it. I can't be, I can't contend. Ah! You you got me. You got me. <laughs> Hoisted by your own petard. What? Hoisted by your own petard. Why are, why are we talking about the Star Trek captain? I don't know. No, that's Picard. Oh. Hoisted by your own Picard. What? Energize. <laughs> Make it so. Uh anyways, um <laughs> But no, like that's something that they kind of had to do. Mhm. And you know what? I'm okay with it. It was fun. Because it seems like other companies aren't going to do stuff like that. So if that's how we start perhaps doing some intergender stuff, I'm okay with it. Tonight, language. Easy, Captain America. Language. Language. Yeah. Um, or he said shit. Mo- yeah, he said that in the in the initial segment, but uh, it, it definitely picked up after 10 o'clock. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So I think that's a dedication to it. I, I actually was watching. I, I I was just praying for someone to say an episode of Silk Stockings is coming up. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> it felt like it. I, I actually found myself in a little bit of a YouTube uh, uh, rat hole uh, watching Paul Heyman interviews from the last several years. And uh, he, he's talking about his interview style and, and how he um, um, uh, does not subscribe to the PG, um, uh, you know, no, uh, you know. really. So that got me excited a little bit for what they're going to be doing with this. Um, but uh, another thing to chew on for tomorrow, uh, Eric Bischoff, who mm-hmm. did what he did, and he technically has not been in a creative uh, position in professional wrestling for WWE at least uh, uh, ever, ever, ever. Yeah. Now will be the executive director, producer, whatever it's go- called, of a prime time network television wrestling show it's gonna be weird it's gonna be weird it's gonna be i almost want us to postpone the mayhem show so we can watch the whole thing tomorrow yeah yeah we can't do that because we have i know i know we can't do that but we have very young wrestlers on and it's gonna be way past their bedtime tomorrow i okay i guess (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> you, you haven't said who's on yet. So well, Zeke Mercer's it. on, sir. How old is he? Um, I don't know. I, I'm pretty sure he can't drink. Oh, he's a fetus. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Oh, you're allowed to call him that all night. Uh, but also <laughs> joining Zeke will be. I got the confirmation. We had some floating dates, and why not? Let's get them both on the couch. Uh, our our friend, the Bearcat Keith Hot, will be joining us in studio. Oh boy. Uh, 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 Western PA's or uh, Pennsylvania, or I guess he's t- technically West Virginia. West Virginia's most huggable wrestler. Sorry, Beast Man. Wow. By the way, did you see Beast Man trying to get through TSA with his bone in his bag? I, I, I saw there was a little bit of uh, uncomfortableness there. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah, it got interesting. Um, so never well, thought. At about least he that. wasn't trying to smuggle a lead pipe in a baguette. That's good. That's good. That baguette came all the way from Italy, so it had to be really hard. Also, funny because apparently baguettes are French. Yeah, I was gonna say I'm like, who is French in that scenario? Because you kept saying like baguette and chest flexor. Chest flexor. <laughs> Dude, if he came out with a French hat, it would just completely fit. Um. Yeah. Anyways, yeah, I, I think there is probably a little bit. I, I feel like Heyman would have the most influence over an opening night than uh, Eric Bischoff because uh, Brandon's saying that he thinks the full control will happen after Extreme Rules. I, I think it's it's it's. I think sh- it's already started. I think it started. I think it's also showing up and kind of like figuring out what are the bounds of the position at this point. Yeah, like right? like I think there's a couple of things that are already set in place. Yeah. 
like so. uh, the AJ heel turn. That was already yeah, that was uh, coming. I mean, you know, we're is the pay per view this weekend or in two weeks? Next, is next it? weekend, two not weekend. this weekend, but next weekend. Yeah. Um, oh, um, I didn't notice. Did you notice anyone from the Firefly Funhouse? No, but I have not been good about noticing it. So okay, I I didn't even see Twitter go nuts about it. So I do I wonder because wonder... I'm waiting to see who's on the other side of that door. I. I heard a rumor. I don't think you're going to be happy with. Oh it. no! Oh, what's the rumor? Um, the rumor was that it was first going to be a one Mister Cesaro, <gasps> but is no longer that. He's too. He's too busy with main event muscle or whatever. Until I see that, I don't think that's a real thing. <laughs> but um. I heard maybe Buddy Murphy. Okay. Which will be good matches, but mm-hmm. slightly underwhelming. Okay. So, yeah. it for, From what I've heard, it is not Bray Wyatt. Jeez. It seems like it lined right up, too. Yep. Mm. Mm. Mm-hmm. I mean, granted, new regime. Mm-hmm. Could very well be Bray Wyatt. Hell. Who knows? With, with Bischoff in charge, it could be Sting. We don't know. Could be Sting. Sting. It could be Hulk Hogan. It could be Kevin it, Nash. It could be Vampiro. We don't know. It could be Vampiro. Vampiro. Oh, we could only price. be. Oh, um, you know what? It could be Seven. Oh, by the way, speaking of Vampiro, I, you're going to appreciate this gold that I have on my desk. I'm um, working on a DVD for uh, apparently last year's Lucha Expo, which mm-hmm. was commentaried by one Joe Dombrowski and Vampiro. Oh. For four days of wrestling, I've talked to both those guys. Yes, for four days of wrestling, I I, oh I cue in this one, and I'm like, "What is this philosophy shit that Vampiro spouting at the beginning of the stream?" It's 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 tre- the little bit I've heard from him is tremendous, and it's got like everybody, everybody lucha in it that I think you want to see. Actually, they're, they're probably there's probably a good bit of you. Probably well, everyone that's it. lucha that I want to see that's not in another company. <laughs> yes, well, some that are, <laughs> some that are. So, oh. um, yeah, there was. I mean, there was Ultimo Dragon. There was Bestia and Damian Six 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 Six, uh, which I think we saw. Uh, Bestia, Bestia. Oh, that's good seis. pronunciation. I, because I heard the announcement, so I actually know how to say it now. That was um, good, Borg. I'm proud of you. <laughs> so I'm I'm getting I'm getting. There's enough like. You know, Sam Adonis is bringing all his lucha here, like to town. I gotta, ke- you know, keep up on it now, right? This is now like the third lucha show that he's done, and another mm-hmm. one happening in October. So I'm telling you, one of these days, you are going to interview a lucha and ask them a question in Spanish. Really? You think so? I, Sorg, I've been predicting that for years. I did not fare well so well with the Japanese guy again ten years ago. I guess that's it was the same day as that Christopher Daniels interview, but yeah. I need, I need to go double check. I, I feel like I did this before, but I need to check in on that on that guy and, and see if he became something in New Japan that I, I forgot about. <laughs> <laughs> like, is he on New Japan World or something? So, Oh, anyway. and uh, Brandon in the chat is saying that maybe, maybe Taker being involved, it could be the end of Shane for a while. I hope you're right. Mm-hmm. I think you're wrong, but I hope you're right. And then Miz wants to feud with Taker because he wanted to be the one to take him out. <sighs> that could be good. That could be real good. That could be really good. I like Miz or Saker. That'd be that'd be fun. You notice Miz is getting the because I saw it tweeted and, and of course he wore it. The uh, the your town is awesome. Dayton is or I'm sorry, Dallas is awesome. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they're in Dallas, not Dayton tonight. Uh, a little more exciting, uh, but <laughs> so really good. A lot well, more exciting. Let's be honest. Also, a favorite thing in wrestling this week. Did you see Eamon and Josh um, reunited? Oh yeah, with they Amber Moon. So, so they know uh, our friend Eamon, of course, works with Inspire Pro Wrestling, and the they first know fetus of the Mayhem Show. What's that? Yes, the first, the first, fetus. the first fetus. Um, but uh, 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 new Ember Moon from you know, of course, before she was in WWE and NXT and everything. So it was kind of a cool reunion at that. Just the f- they just came to a fan event that she was at. I, I presume <laughs> at a cricket store, according to the logos in the picture. But that was a really cool moment that was shared on social media. I think it was private, so I don't know if all of us could see it out there. But uh, I saw it. Yeah, I know you saw it, but we're all friends with him on Facebook. That's so. true. Um. Anyways, Mike, you know what, Mike? 
This has been a very positive experience. Mm -hmm. And I haven't even had a chance to watch NXT yet. I'm going to watch that tonight. Oh, wow. So you have not seen our friend Walking Wild. I have not had a chance to. Dude, it's amazing. I'm going to before the show tomorrow. It's amazing. It's just DJ Z with a new name. Excellent. Like, everything across the board is just DJ Z but with a new name. Also, related, I saw there was a top 10 quick matches in NXT. Um, which top I, five? Top, I'm sorry, yeah, top five. It's top five. Yeah. It's always a top five. Did you see like yeah. one of the matches was um, Baron Corbin versus Elias? Yep, and it's it's Elias Samson. Uh huh. S a m p s o n. Before the first name change, before the second name change, they removed the P. Yes. Huh. Yeah. Trust me. Hey, <laughs> listen, I'm really sensitive <laughs> to that because I, I I once put Jock Samson's name on the back of a DVD and left the P in. And uh-huh. I remember him yelling at me, there's no P, it's Samson, it's biblical. Yeah. Just don't. Just every time I that. see that and I think to spell his name, I just think him yelling, it's just Jock Samson in the Jock Samson voice. Don't, let, don't it's let him biblical. get a haircut, Sork. What's that? Don't let him get a haircut. I don't think that's a problem. Anyways. Yeah. Well, Samson and Delilah. Delilah. Oh. Bad Mike, 4883 on the tweets. YouTube.com slash Poppy. Sorks run on the Twitter. <laughs> and, of course, we will be back at 9 p.m. Eastern time on the Wrestling Mayhem Show Facebook uh, Live with uh, pro wrestlers Zeke Mercer and uh, Keith Hot of Fight Society and Black Diamond Wrestling, respectively, and other places they've popped up over the years, rise, uh, uh, months, uh, rise, uprise, uh, and uh, some other promotions. Um, but no, go check all that out. Actually, Zeke was at Uprise as well. Uh, so uh, with that, we'll see you guys next time. Uh, Mayhem out. Where's that button? Just wait. Just wait. Just wait. Just wait. Wait for the perfect time. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.